Se preparó el puto powerpoint, eh. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and here we are Darius in game. In game. Oh, absolutely awesome. Un poco de catfish, ¿no? Parece más alto, la verdad. So I guess this is a good opportunity to actually talk about a little bit of the things that are the iconic uh, items that and just parts of his uh, model because we we went. Hermano, ¿por qué es un rectángulo? ¿Por qué es un rectángulo? La cara, ¿eh? Madre mía, tío. Bueno. Esto que es cosa rara ya, ¿no? Sí, un poquito. Veamos. Of course, he's got his, his snake buddy with him as well, which is actually integral there. We've got the horizontal lines on his forehead, the vertical eye. And I'm going to go through these a little bit. The crescent moon in his headdress. We've got his trident, which is the Maru drum. We've got the Agni fire. We've got the uh, the meditation beads and the tiger skin. There's just so much love that we've put into bringing Shiva into the game. And we're oh, really man. excited. Well, awesome. Awesome. I, if y'all think we're at a good moment, let's, let's, let's just see a showcase of the abilities. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. So yeah, uh, Shiva does actually have longer basic attacks like you would see with a normal spear or lance user of uh, the 16 foot range. Hermano, que lamentable, tío. Third hit will be a meteor hit, while the second one will be slightly weaker. He is also, yeah, of course he's a vale, physical warrior. Vale, 1-0-5-2. Physical warrior. Physical warrior. Physical warrior. Physical warrior. A little bit confusing to some people saying he's an assassin. No, he's a physical warrior. Ah, cargan la pasiva con básico, ok. He's to be played in uh, potentially different lanes, but we can talk about that again towards the end. Yeah, awesome. Well, then let's get into what about the passive? So, uh, Samsara, you said? Yeah, Samsara. It is the idea of the, the cyclicality of the universe. It is That is going to be his gameplay hook. It's going to be what we talked about the close look vlog. He's a state switcher more than he is a stand switcher. And that you can see in his passive. He's going to be going from the two states that, of bliss and destruction. And you can go through these by dealing damage to enemy gods or the different attacks and abilities. Um, There's basically two components to the state switching. One is just a primary uh, buff or debuff uh, state. So if you're in Bliss, you're going to be providing HP5 and MP5 buff aura to yourself and allies. If you're in Destruction, you're going to be doing the, the reverse to enemies. You're going to be decreasing their HP5 and MP5 um, around you. Buena pasiva. Básicamente, si estás en la zona azul, le metes un debuff al enemigo que le baja la vida y la... Y la... O sea, que le resta, digamos, ¿no? O bueno, no sé si es, la, es el azul o el otro Pero vamos, que le bajas el HP5 y el MP5 Y si estás en uno o el otro, te sube No sé, no me, no me ha quedado muy claro no, no, ¿Está bien? El rojo baja Vale, vale Veamos Shiva es... Kind of enhancing his trident, thr the Trishula, with the fire of Agni, which is what he's holding in his hands, as he spins it around him, dealing damage and pulling in all of the enemies. When he spins around the trident, he's also leaving behind a firewall at the edge uh, that deals damage to enemies if they're inside of it. It's not a dot, uh, but if you do cross within the threshold, you'll take damage. Think kind of like Ganesha's ultimate. Now, the spin does damage, the damage on the fire, of course, is there. And going into that pass a little bit more, if you're in the bliss state, so you can see that right now, the fire has a little bit of that blue tinge. And that's because if ah, the one of his allies cross through that fire, they'll actually gain a movement speed. Ooh. Now, if we switch to destruction state, enemies who go through that will actually be uh, getting their protections reduced for a short duration. So that's the, how the passive kind of works. If you're Ooh. The allies no longer gain that movement speed buff, but the enemies gain a utility debuff instead. And like I said, we're going to be talking about the different effects on the different... Vale, básicamente si pasas por encima y estás en la estancia azul, tienes un movement speed si pasas por encima. Or the protection reduction in, um, destruction. Eh, y si está en la estancia roja, creo que ha dicho que te meten un debuff de protección o algo así, ¿no? 
Quillo, pero es que estos personajes tienen demasiadas cosas. Yo es que no me imagino a alguien entrando nuevo y aprendiéndose todo esto, pero bueno. Yo, Robiper. Esto se va a fallar el 90% de las veces. Esa habilidad está guapa, eh. Buah, esto para combinarlo con el 1 puede estar mantequilla, eh. Joder, hermano, la pasiva te da un carajo de cosas a tener en cuenta, tío. Ataque speed de buff, no sé qué, protecciones, movement speed. Madre mía. es donde apuntas, está claro Hermano, ¿no? ojalá poder jugar esto, tío Me cago en mi puta te quieres callar, tío. ¿Cómo que esto no calla? Vale, me puede enseñar el 3 ya. No. Seguimos hablando de las animaciones de ir a los saltos y la forma en la que corre. Perfecto. <risa> ¡Y yo no se la suda la animación, tío! Madre de mi vida, loco. Que a nadie le importa que esté saltando de una manera u otra, tío. Los movements, tío. Fluent. Cuidado, eh. Chooses a selection mechanism, so it's kind of like two separate dashes in a way. So you can choose a location where you're going to dash into, and you can choose that can be a short uh, area, as you can see there. You can change the range on it. And Shiva dashes to that uh, to the pillar, becoming CC immune and taking reduced damage while he's inside there, as well as pulsing kind of an aura effect. And then you can dash out again. Um, each dash deals damage damage to enemies uh, in and out, as well as that aura which does different things again, going back onto the passive. So if you're in bliss state, you're going to be pulsing out. A block stack to your allies, maximum of one. But Shiva Blocks. at the end of the, the duration of the pillar will actually be accumulating block stacks. So he'll gain up to three when he leaves. And you can see that as the orbs uh, floating around. Uh, if you're in just the destruction state, it's, we kept this one a lot more simple. It's just going to be pulsing damage around him in that pillar. Awesome. It is so, I, I love, I love like the silhouette view. That is so awesome yes, to look exactly. at. Yes, exactly. And that's a, a good mention because... Que ya estáis viendo lo que está quitando. O sea, sin ítems, vale. Son Odin. Son, son Odins de mierda. Eh, sin ítems, vale. Imaginaos a un, a, una, a, un, a un mago, tío. Dios mío, loco. A ver la ulti. ¿Cómo crees que está para la solo? De momento una mierda porque no tiene healing. Como no la da Soul Eater. So in the o un Gaia que está nerfeado. Shiva es CC, uh, CC immune for 6 seconds doing his dance. And there's up to 4 different steps that are always happening on the 1.5 second beats. Um, in the first step, so also, I guess, before I get ahead of myself, you can see his buff uh, 
his ability icons change to the three different steps and you can choose which one you're going to be going into next so no matter what this o sea puedes gilear supongo no you can choose and interchange between them the first one is a heal for himself as, and allies as well as a smoke ah bueno esa es su healing the second one is the amplification step where it does a little bit of damage a little bit of healing but also amplifies the radius and the effects of the next step that's performed so you can see here the radius actually gets bigger the third one is a damage to enemies as well as a shield reduction pero está en la 2 ¿Ah? Yo, que hostia, cabrón Ah, vale Que yo eso... Joder, mamá Que yo, que son 6 segundos esto, eh But for the ability itself, six seconds of immunity, no extra movement speed, um, CC immunity specifically, and damage, heal, or a little bit of both. And that is just, I mean, it's incredible from every angle. It's hard for me to choose what I'm most excited to talk about with this. Hermano, quiero jugar esto, tío. The Destroyer, a creator, amazing titles. Bueno, a ver, posible nerfeos. Unbelievably cool. El daño, está claro que lo van a nerfear de alguna manera. El 3 se lo van a nerfear. La ulti le van a quitar segundo de, de CC inmune. El 3 lo mismo. El fuego va a quitar menos. O sea, está cerrado. High skill ultimate O sea, me están diciendo que esa ulti es difícil de usar Pero ¿qué te crees que es esto, y yo? Because again, you're not getting an extra movement ability if the enemy just sí, Miguel. uses their movement ability, you're gonna have to cancel out of that, wasting the cooldown. Ah, que puedes cancelar la ulti. Either way, I am excited for all of the all of how compatible this ability is with so many other uh, gods kits. I think it's gonna be cool to see how this plays into the game overall. So uh do y'all wanna get into talking about a little bit of the, the playstyle, kind of what you imagine how you imagine Shiva is gonna fit into the world of Smite. <laughs> so we talked about a little bit earlier that, you know, yeah. he is a warrior. We're hoping that People give him a try in the soul lane, but between the different utility effects, he's probably going to find decent success as a, a guardian warrior as well in the dual lane. And I fully expect people to try and give him a, a good run for the money in the jungle role too. Jungle yeah, role, totally, dude. I, I definitely qué? expect to see some uh, <sighs> just some play in the support role. You know, the, like with that duality of being a damage dealer, an enemy, an enemy attacker, or the ally helper, the with a creation half. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of flexibility here depending on how you play it. Monitor, Buen bote para el torneo, voy a aprender a jugar en dos días. Reviver, te recuerdo que estás baneado. Another thing is, if you, you know, build a little bit of anti heal, as much as we hate to say it, or build uh, into cursed onk or any of the onks even. Of course, we've we've changed them up with the relic upgrades. That kind of limits what Shiva can do with his ultimate. He kind of is forced into the destruction because if he tries to use, um, Se ve bien perrota, la verdad.